Now we have some other factors that are really important, but you can't measure or quantify them. One of them is the broadhead steel. The quality of the broadhead steel is very, very important. Uh, it's going to determine how thin an edge you can work with, and we'll talk in a little bit why thin edges are important. Uh, but it also affects the retained sharpness, the broadhead. Your broadhead, really, after you penetrate the animal, should be virtually as sharp as it was when you hit that animal. If it's not, you don't know where in the penetration you've lost the sharpness. Now, a really interesting experiment is to take a fresh pig hide that's been wallowing in the mud and hang it up and take a broad head that's got a hardness in the mid-40s, which is, which is pretty common. One's at least they file sharp. They sharpen real easy. They're probably in the mid-40s. Sharpen it up real good. <coughs> Shoot it through the pig hide, just the hide, and see how dull it is when it comes out the other side. So it's, it is quite a loss. <coughs> Excuse me a second. Uh, our next factor is the length of the cutting edge. And the longer the cutting edge, the longer the tissue is in contact with it. So that gives the, the edge more opportunity to be able to cut the tissues. The angle of attack is a really important one. And it's a hard one to get people to understand. The best way to think of it that I've found is that if you put a steak on your plate and you take a really, really sharp steak knife, and you start trying to cut it this way, it's pretty hard to cut that steak. Even if you put that knife at a 45 degree angle and try to cut that steak, it's pretty hard, it takes a lot of effort. But if you'll lower the sharpening, the, the angle of attack on that, that steak cuts just like a piece of butter. And that's what the angle of attack does for you. The lower you can get that angle of attack, the better it cuts through the tissues. The angle of the edge bevel itself is a big factor because that Angle of the edge bevel is also an inclined, inclined plane, and it has a mechanical advantage just like your broadhead does. And what that means is the higher that mechanical advantage of the edge is at a given level of sharpness, the easier it is for it to cut the tissue. The less force is required, or the less tension that's required by, between the tissues and the edge of that blade. So it just makes it very easy for it to cut with a higher mechanical advantage of the bevel. <coughs> 